Scene 128. Exterior parking lot. The van doors fly open. The guys look at the good robots. You ready to save the babes, good robot usses? Asks Bill. Save the babes. Save the babes. Save. They're interrupted by Miss Wardrow's distant voice announcing, Wild Stallions! Bill and Ted look at Station. Go for it, dude, says Ted. Station plugs his paws into the robots, and their eyes fully spark to life. Save the babes! Save the babes! Scene 129. Interior amphitheater on stage. Evil Bill and Ted mince on, guitars slung over their shoulders, smirks smeared across their faces. How's it going, worms? I am Bill S. Preston, Esquire. Scene 130. Exterior amphitheater parking lot by the van. Bill and Ted wave away the incredible fog of smoke and sparks and look at the two good robots. All right, dudes, says Ted. Let's go get them! And with that, the robots take off incredibly fast. So fast that their long, awkward, metallic strides leave tracers behind them. So fast that it takes Bill and Ted a couple seconds to realize, Hey, wait, where are you going? that the robots have taken off away from the amphitheater, in completely the wrong direction. From inside the amphitheater, we hear Evil Ted's amplified voice announce, And I am Ted Theodore Logan, and we're... Bill and Ted, utterly dumbstruck, turn toward the still dissipating smoke. Station, what's going on, dude? Bill, look! Suddenly through the clearing smoke steps Station, and Station, now drain of energy, They've returned to the old creatures. Station. And they pitter-patter off after the now completely disappeared good robots. The guys look at each other as they hear from inside the amphitheater. Wild stallions! Now what do we do? Scene 131, on stage. Evil Bill and Ted approach their mics. Evil Bill says, And we're here to say, All hail Nomalos to Nomalos! More grinding guitar. Scene 132. In the audience, the judges, the audience, everyone hates this. Some are getting up to leave. Meanwhile, scene 133. Interior by the side of the theater. Bill and Ted rush up and fling the door open. They turn back, impatient. Come on, dude! Hurry! After a quick beat, the Grim Reaper, sweating profusely and utterly out of breath, rushes up. The guys grab him and pull him inside. Come with us, Grim Reaper. You gotta help us stall for time, says Bill. How? I don't understand. I'm not prepared for... They pull him toward the wings. Near the stage, Bill turns. You gotta cover for us while we try and figure out what to do. The Reaper peers out, looks at the crowd, and shakes his head. I... I can't. I haven't the experience. I haven't... Death. We need your help, says Ted. But I am frightened. All these people. I'm better one-on-one. Get out there, dude, says Bill. And Bill and Ted push the Reaper out onto... Scene 134. The stage. View from the audience. Where, opposite evil Bill and Ted, who thrash about with their guitars, the Grim Reaper stumbles out from the wings, stops, stares for a beat at the audience, then faints, falling backwards and hitting his head on the synthesizer, which starts playing a musical vamp causing evil Bill and Ted to turn and see Bill and Ted now entering from the wings. They look toward the stage, where evil Bill and Ted stop their music and stare. No way! Yes way, Bill and Ted! Scene 135. The crowd, seeing two sets of Bill and Ted's, and a hooded figure lying between them, begins to quiet down, a few actually turning back and taking their seats. The judges look on curiously as... Scene 136. On stage, Bill and Ted take a couple more steps forward. You totally killed us, you evil metal dickweeds! Evil Bill smirks. That's right, and we're gonna do it again. Yeah! Plus we're fully gonna kill your girlfriends! Evil Ted cuts a rope, and above he and Evil Bill, the princesses suddenly drop into frame with muted screams. And now, scene 137. Around the theater, attention is completely refocused on the stage. If people weren't sitting, they are now. Wardrobe raises an eyebrow as... Scene 138. On stage, Bill and Ted, pumped with rage, 
look at each other, then look up at the princesses, suddenly screaming, Ah! They charge toward the stairs, which lead to the princesses. Joanna! Elizabeth! But Evil Bill grabs Bill. Evil Ted grabs Ted, and both are knocked backwards. As they fly through the air, Ted calls to the princesses, We'll save you, ba- Boom! The guys smack against another wall. This isn't going well. Scene 139. The crowd, however, which is growing by the minute, is really enjoying this. Scene 140. On stage, the Reaper, hearing the applause, awakens and, spurred on by it, musters a bit of confidence and steps up to the mic. Hello! I am Death! I come from beyond! I reap each soul with my bony wand! Behind the Reaper, Evil Bill and Ted have cornered Bill and Ted. Got you, lesser developed human prototype usses! They grab them and, with a cruel surge of power, fling them across the stage, where they land, dazed against another wall. Scene 141. The crowd cheers again. Scene 142. On stage. The Reaper sees the two sets of Bill and Ted's on opposite sides of the stage, and gaining confidence continues. Behold before you two Bills and two Ted's. These two good and real. These true metalheads. The crowd cheers. The Reaper begins to sway and rock. And so, my good friend, oomph, boom. Evil Ted shoves him away from the mic. Shut up! The Reaper stumbles, then spins, points his finger at the audience, and begins to moonwalk badly back toward the mic, passing Bill and Ted, who look up at the princesses, whose ropes have begun to fray. Bill, the ropes! We got a thing, dude! Says Bill. Ted tries to think hard. Above him, the evil ones grab Mike's stands and raise them above their heads. Grim Reaper continues really into it now. Tonight you will witness their ultimate battle. The winner will rightfully mount the wild stallion's saddle. The reaper begins a dance. The crowd goes crazy. The encroaching evil ones smile cruelly. Ted turns towards Bill. Dude, we are in serious trouble. Bill, eyes suddenly widening. Ted, there's only one thing we can do. What? Don't move. What? Suddenly the mic stands swing down right onto the guys. Bam! camera goes black. Then as Evil Bill and Ted gloat to the wildly cheering crowd, scene 143, Bill and Ted, now in black and white again, rise up out of their once again supine bodies. That was your idea? Ted, how many times did we beat the Reaper? I don't know, four? Whoa, yeah! The guys look at each other. Let's get him, Ted! And with that, the guys dive back down into their bodies, and then... Scene 144. Wide shot on stage. Bill and Ted rise again, this time from behind the still-gloating evil ones who grab their mics. Evil Bill says, Remember the name! Nama! Suddenly they gasp as Bill and Ted, behind them, have grabbed Evil Bill and Evil Ted's heads and have yanked them off their bodies. No way! Yes way, evil Bill and Ted heads! They kick the flailing evil robot bodies into the orchestra pit. Meanwhile, Ted is holding evil Ted's head and is punching it in the face. Take that! And that! Got any last words? Yeah, check out your girlfriends! What? Oh no! Says Bill. They look up as... Scene 145, close on ropes. Breaking as... Scene 146, the princesses suddenly fall, and scene 147, Bill and Ted's eyes widen as scene 148, the back of the stage suddenly shatters and the good robots burst through the wall. Save the babes, save the babes, and boom, they catch the girls. Whoa, they did know what they were doing. Yeah, and they must have had to run around the whole world to get enough momentum to burst through the wall. Bill and Ted approach the good robot thems and extend a hand. Ladies? And as the princesses take the guy's hands, there is a flash of light in the sky. And... Scene 149. The phone booth crashes down onto the lip of the stage, landing in a shower of crackling, sizzling electricity. And Denomalos emerges, takes a few steps toward Bill and Ted, and smiles. William S. Preston Esquire, Ted Theodore Logan. Bill, Ted, and the princesses look at each other, exhausted. 
They shrug, nod. Yeah? Who are you? Did we build you? Who am I? I am Nomalos Denomalos. I am their master, and I must see to it that you die. And with that, he whips out his weapon. The guy's jaws drop open. What? Why, dude? So that in my day, 700 years from now, I will rule. And now it is time. Bill and Ted, more fed up than scared, moan. Oh, no. Now what? We got no lives left. Bill shrugs. Miss Wardrobe calls out from the wings. Gentlemen, use your heads. Denomalos fires upon Bill and Ted, who hold up the evil robot heads and deflect the bullets. Bill and Ted then notice self-destruct buttons inside the heads and press them before bowling them towards Denomalos. Denomalos gapes at the heads and gulps. Guys, I was only joking. The heads explode loudly, and Denomalos disappears in a blinding flash, leaving only a smoking pile of ash in his place. Scene 153A. The audience reacts with rousing applause. Scene 153B. Dude, where'd he go? I don't know, dude. Really, guys, I'm surprised you had to ask. They've been reaped? Asked Ted. Totally. 